Hey guys, how's it going? Pete Mercer here. So, I just wanted to address the topic of stretching before working out a little bit here because a lot of the fitness um, YouTubers out there have been putting videos on the importance of doing things like stretching before lifting, doing myofascial release, mobility, that kind of thing, and there seems to be a lot of flack coming their way from people saying, I don't have time to do that. I don't want to stretch before I work out. I just want to go into the gym and lift heavy weight because that's what we do. We lift heavy weight. And, and obviously, you know, that's the best part. Everyone wants to get to that point. You just load up the bar, get a good pump, feel good about yourself and walk out of the gym. So, yeah, that's fine and well, but that's only going to work to a certain extent. Now, let's look at this a little bit. So let's imagine that our joint, uh, our joints are like uh, some chewing gum. So you've got a strip of chewing gum. And let's say you take chewing gum out of the packet, uh, take off the foil and you pull the chewing gum. What happens? It snaps. Um, and that's because it's cold and there's been nothing done to it. And that's going to happen exactly the same in your joints in your body. Whereas let's say you take the chewing gum, you put it in your mouth and you chew it for a minute or two. You take it out, it's nice and supple and wet. And you pull it, what happens? It stretches and it works naturally and it goes back to its natural position. This is what happens when you stretch before working out. And the best way to approach this is dynamically because that's going to get your joints moving, it's going to, to encourage some blood flow, it's going to raise your heart rate which is going to lubricate everything and things will supple and soften up whereas doing static stretching is actually going to, well they say, put the muscle to sleep but basically it stretches it out, it doesn't increase your heart rate and then it basically just goes back to its tight position again which means that if you put too much strain on it, it's going to snap. So that's the most important thing if that's all you're going to do do some dynamic stretching before you actually go in and start lifting weights and this could be in the form of doing um, lunges or um, body weight squats to extensions, different things like that there. There are tons of videos out there, Matt Ogus has a few, Smitty Diesel, you can find them, just, just YouTube it, it's dead easy. So that's a very basic thing to do before. Now what you can also do before that is increase your mobility so um, you can do these mobility drills which will again lengthen the muscle and it'll make things more supple so they can actually work better and then you can approach even if you've got more time to do some myofascial release which really just gets out all the knots and loosens everything up even further so there are different like, three stages that I would go through personally if I'm going to warm up before going to the gym I would start off by doing mobility drills and that there is just going to like loosen the joints make them work a bit better um, and relax the muscle and the the soft tissue there then i would go on to doing myofascial release which gets out all the knots and any lactic acid that has been done um, or built up from the day before and then i'll go on to doing some dynamic stretches uh, and that just brings the heart rate up gets the body kind of ready to actually go and, and lift the weight and that keeps everything nice and lubricated nice and warmed up nice and safe and that's going to give you the the best results even when it comes to actually lifting in the gym because if you're tight and tense things aren't going to go well you might not be able to lift as heavy as before uh, and eventually you're going to push it too far and things are going to snap so a dynamic warm-up can take a couple of minutes say five minutes to do a dynamic warm-up you can do your mobility in 10 minutes. I would advocate doing 10 minutes a day regardless of whether you're not in the gym. Um, so let's say 15 minutes. And then if you want to do your myofascial release, 5 minutes of that as well. So 20 minutes before a workout. And most people are only lifting for like an hour, an hour and a half tops. And we, we have the capacity to go further than that if you want, as long as you know what you're doing. But that's topic for a different video. Um, so 20 minutes out of your day to prevent injury, to buffer lactic acid, to loose, like lubricate the joints, to make you perform the best that you're going to perform in the gym for 40 minutes to an hour is it's, it's just I can't see any reason why not to do it because even if you were to take like two sets or three sets off your off your workout you're going to get more bang for your buck by doing the warm up beforehand because you're going to perform better and that's really what it comes down to so there's there really is yeah go ahead if you really want to just go into the gym load at the bar do your lifts and then walk away and things will be grand until something goes snap and then you're going to have even longer to take away from the gym to fix up like you might have to go to hospital or something along those lines or you could do things well not say properly but you could do things more sensibly take time do your warm-up make sure it's correct get everything going and that way you'll actually be able to perform better and more effectively and you'll get a better workout and it's it's not that much of a, of a problem. You, you really should be doing it. So that's pretty much my take on it. Um, yes, may have rambled a bit, maybe a slightly longer video, but 
I highly, highly advocate doing a good warm up. And after you've worked out, you should do some static stretching, sitting or lying down, just to cool down the muscle and make things work again. But um, I might go over in a future video um, an ideal progression scale. Um, we call it an aerobic curve, I believe. So, yeah, I'm done. That's it. So, thanks for watching. I'm Pete Mercer. Take it easy.